Thank you very much for watching Dr. Sayyid Rizwan Abbas YouTube channel. On this channel, you will learn about new drug discoveries by using in silico studies and different methods by using laptops, softwares, databases. We will learn how to develop new drugs. If you are new, don't forget subscription. And today, we will learn about Lepensky rule of five, a drug rule. A compound must have according to drug rules. How to check a compound having Lepensky rule of five, a drug rules. First, we require the smileys of the compound. For that, please follow me, move to Google. And Google, I'm using PubChem database because we required smiley of the compounds for the further proceedings. First one is the pumpkin. You may use some other database like zinc and some other one. Drug bank you can use. So pumpkin, here the search bar, here write down the compound name, berberine. So in enter, must check the spell of your compound which you gonna search on. Because here are many names of the compounds which having same molecular structure, but check where is your compounds must having same same spelling. Click on, and here are the descriptions, little bit information of the compounds like its ID structure, 3D structures, molecular formula, and so on. Its molecular weight, each and everything is given there. So scroll down, scroll down, because for the smileys, we require conical smiley. This one is the conical smiley of berberine compound. So from here, copy, copy it, and move to an other database. Name is Mole Inspiration. Mole Inspiration. Here is down, down one, this one, Mole Inspiration. More inspiration chemoinformatics, click on. So the second one, click on and second calculations of molecular. So here, paste on this bar, paste the smiley of the compound which you have taken from PubChem and move to calculate properties. So here the smiley, smiley of your compound and down one, the structure of your compound, which you have taken, uh, here is the berberine. So your compound name was berberine. Here is the smiley. You check the smileys and the compound name is accurate or not, because it is very important. It's having some variation or some change. So it's not a good for your research. So now how to check the parameters of Leibniz-Sky rule of five. There are four parameters. Number one, log p, not greater than five, must less than five mean not greater than five is value. So it's 0 0.20, so it's less than five. So same like uh, molecular weight, not more than 500 Dalton, not greater than 500 Dalton. So here you can easily check 336. So it's the less than 500 Dalton, not greater than 500 Dalton. Another the third step is hydrogen bond acceptor. Hydrogen bond acceptor must be less than 10, not more than 10. Okay, five number is over there. So is less than less than 10. So here hydrogen bond donor is not more than five and is must be less than five. So uh, here the values is zero. So there are the four parameters. Four parameters, why this is called drug rule of five? Because is the border is five. So value is border, value is five. That's why it's called rule of five, drug rule of five. But actually there are four rules. Log P must be less than five value. Molecular weight must be less than 500 Dalton. Hydrogen bond acceptor must be less than 10. 10 is like a, a 5 multiplied by 2. That's why it's a 5 border value is 5. Again, donor hydrogen bond donor must be less than 
5. So that's why this is called Lepinski rule of 5. Check it, all the values are accordingly so that your compound is okay. In this step, you check three things here. First, the smiley which you have taken from is accurate. Second, the name of your compound is accurate. And then check all three, uh, four values, log P, molecular weight, their acceptor, donor is okay. So the further studies, you move on about properties down here and click on about properties. Here the properties are given, it's descriptions over there. You can read, you can understand furthermore if you require it. So go back. Another thing is very important over there is predict bioactivity. Here we check its physical properties according to Lepinski rule of five is okay or not. And furthermore, furthermore we can check its bioactivity, how much bioactivity is how how much this compound which you have been selected for your study is sufficient or not for a drug purpose so check the predict bioactivity this one after checking a new desktop pop out from that you can easily detect the strength of your compound so here this one enzyme inhibitor if you are compound having green color, so it means your compound is good for enzyme inhibitor. If your compound here is white color, so it means compound is okay according to physical properties, but as a biological activity, it's not sufficient for enzyme inhibition. So how much darkness of the green color depends upon the strength of your molecule regarding to the inhibition of enzymes. More like uh, dark color of green shows that your compound is capable for the best inhibition of the enzymes. So the values are given over here. So it depends. So must check these two parameters as well as uh, properties and bioactivity. So from that you can get a, an idea about your compound. So is this good or bad? Thank you very much. Thank you for your time. Thank you so much.